Radio Board is a streaming interview and new beta releases are coming out faster than the devs can write snapshots for them. It has truly never been a better time to get into game development with Godot. So, does Godot 4 mean that the engine is ready for the big time? Will we see AA and even AAA titles made in Godot soon? Or will that mean that Godot gains the world while losing its soul? Let's find out. Game Game Dev Dev Journey For a game engine to be considered to be AAA from a graphical perspective, it needs to have many material texture options and advanced visual effects such as enhanced depth of field, volumetric fog, AMD fidelity super resolution, global illumination techniques such as light mapping using spherical harmonic equations for greatly improved performance, as well as voxel global illumination, and even the single click open world global illumination solution SDFGI. Godot 4 has all of these things, so the potential is certainly there for high visual fidelity gameplay with good performance. After a disappointing attempt to integrate bullet physics into the engine, Godot 4 has returned to its own custom solution. At the moment, it cannot do high-end physics on the level of the big guns like PhysX, but the solution is more flexible and a lot of it works seamlessly out of the box, which is a good trade-off for users. GDScript is refreshed and renewed for Godot 4, with great additions like lambdas, first-class functions, and a reduced reliance on string identifiers. Of course, you can also now use many popular programming languages such as C-sharp, Rust, and even Hex. The core of the engine itself has been significantly optimized, especially in the memory and data-oriented areas. So besides being faster and more modern, the core code base is now easier to maintain and improve upon. All of this is hugely positive, so you may be wondering, what are the missing pieces preventing the engine from reaching AAA status? Well, if we're talking about huge games with big budgets and large teams, then better version control system support is crucial. Godot would need to have better integration with the file system dock, better real-time refresh of assets being modified externally, and support for permissions and file locking. This feature is really essential for large teams to avoid conflicts and keep files protected from unintended modifications. Other features, which once implemented, will raise the stature of Godot once more, include support for streaming in the development of open world games, better low level rendering access, a multi-threaded solution for scenes, a swarm system which can take care of the rendering and physics for large amounts of on-screen objects so that the user only has to fill in the code logic. Of course, many will point out that a commercial asset store will also help to bring Godot to the fore, and I would certainly agree with that. For now, it seems that Godot will remain a general purpose game engine well suited to indie game development and great for game jams. I think that it will continue to build its loyal following while it waits for that watershed moment when it can move into the mainstream. But please let me know in the comments just what you think that moment will be.